The $78 billion gaming industry is under attack. The Battlefield E3, or the Electronic Entertainment Expo. The mission? Prove the relevance of pricey consoles and expensive software in a world of smartphones and tablets and their army of free and inexpensive downloadable gaming apps. Strategy one, if you can't beat them, join them by getting cheaper. CNET's Dan Ackerman. Think about creating sort of more bite-sized games, more, more small transaction content, sort of like you do on your iPad or your iPhone, but translate that to the bigger world of games so you're not asking everyone to go out and spend $60 a pop on a new game. Strategy two, get some new recruits on your team. Case in point, Microsoft forming new partnerships with content providers like Nickelodeon and Paramount Pictures for its Xbox 360. That gives non-gamers reasons to use the Xbox and can create new revenue streams. And three, make the most of what you've got. Microsoft's Xbox now connects to tablets and smartphones, even Androids and Apple devices using its Smart Glass app. And Nintendo finally unveiled the launch version of its Wii U, which supports two gamepad controllers that look and function like tablets. But here's a reality check. According to Ackerman, there's still nothing to get excited about at E3. You may almost sense a little desperation because you see part four of this game, part seven of this game, part three of this game. It's just sequel, 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 and uh, nobody is even hinting at kind of new big picture projects of big picture hardware like uh, an Xbox uh, 3 or a PlayStation 4. Nintendo has their new Wii U, but we did see that last year. Bottom line's already bleeding as sales slow down. Nintendo recently reported its first annual operating loss, and Sony recently posted a record loss and its fourth straight annual deficit. Bobby Rebell, Reuters.